Hello everyone, today I'm going to discuss about 20th century modern writers. G.V. Shaw was a British-Irish playwright, critic, novelist and political activist. In 1876, he moved to London for his self-education and where he established himself as a novelist and writer. In 1879, he worked in Edition's telephone company for a few days. At first, Shaw started writing for the Saturday Review as a theatre critic and from there he began to write his first play, Caesar and Cleopatra. His first completed novel, Immaturity, which was published in 1879. And his first play, which bring him financial success, is Arms and the Man, which was published in 1894. G. V. Shaw introduced a new realism into English language and drama. He wrote more than 60 plays. Shaw became the leading dramatist of his generation. He was the only person who won the both an Oscar and the Nobel Prize in 1925 in English literature. He owned Oscar for his Pygmalion in 1938. His pain name, Carno di Bassetto. His important works are Man and Superman, Pygmalion, Saint John, Arms and the Man, Candida, The Devil's Disciple, Caesar and Cleopatra, Geneva, Good King, Charles' Golden Days, Widower's House, Boyne's Billions, Four Faced Pebbles, and many more. In 1898, as a result of overwork, he fell ill, and there he was nursed by Charlotte Ping, was an Anglo Irish woman, and later they got married when they both were aged 42. He died at the age of 94 in 2nd November 1950. James Joyce was an Irish novelist, short story writer, poet, and critic. He was the most influential writer in the 20th century. He studied at home and briefly attended the Christian Brothers O'Connell School. He graduated from University College of Dublin in 1902, where he studied English, French, and Italian. He was born into an Irish Catholic family. He had a complex relationship with religion. James Joyce was inspired by Ibsen's work. Ibsen was his hero. James Joyce said he read every line of three writers, Flavier, Ben Johnson, and Ibsen. He was also influenced by Tolstoy and Shelley. His novel Ulysses, which was published in 1922, considered as the greatest book in English literature. He uses the stream of consciousness technique. His important works are A Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man, which was published in 1916, Ulysses, Exiles, Finnegan's Wake, Dubliners, and many more. James Joyce died at the age of 58 in 13 January 1941. Robert Frost, he was American poet and playwright. He wrote various types of poetry. He wrote more than 250 poems. His first poem, My Butterfly, published in 1894 on November 8. He was awarded the Congressional Gold Medal in 1960. Frost is the only poet who received four Pulitzer Prizes for his poetry. His important works are Fire and Eyes, Minding World, Birches, Out and Out, Nothing Gold Can Stay, Home Burial, the Death of the Hired Man, Acquainted with the Night, The Road Not Taken, and many more. He wrote about human life, love, love life, life struggles, uh, morality, nature. He died in 20 January in 1963 at the age of 88. Catherine Mansfield was a New Zealand writer. She was a writer, essayist, journalist, and the most influential and important author of the modernist moment. At the age of nine, she published her first story. She is best known for her short stories. She published three collections of short stories. She moved in England at the age of 19 to establish herself as a writer. Her important works are The Doll's House, Bleas, At the Boy, Her First Ball, A Dill Pickle, A Cup of Tea, Miss Brill, Prelude, and many more. She died at the age of 33 in 1923. T.H. Lawrence, David Herbert Lawrence, was an English writer, poet, painter, and essayist. He wrote about sexuality, emotional health, spontaneity, and instinct. He is best known for his novel Sons and Lovers. He also wrote short stories, poems, plays, essays, travel books, and letters. His important works are Lady Chatterley's Lover, Sons and Lovers, The Rainbow, Omen in Love, The Rocking Horse Winner, The Lost Girl, Kangaroo, The Fox, The White Peacock, The Escaped Cock, and many more. He died at the age of 44 in 1930. George Orwell was an English novelist, essayist, journalist, and critic. Actual name Eric Arthur Blair and George Orwell his pain name.
Blair was born in India and raised and educated in England. After school, he became an imperial policeman in Bar Zaind in 1927 and decided to become a writer. In 1928, he moved to Paris. He is best known for his allegorical novel Animal Farm, which was published in 1945. His first published poem awake Young Man of England when he was 11 years of old. His important works are Shooting an Elephant, 1984, Homage to Catalonia, Coming Up for a Year, Barmy's Days, A Clergyman's Daughter, and many more. He died at the age of 46 in 21st January. W. H. Auden was a British-American poet and playwright. His full name, Winston Hugh Auden. His poems deal with universal themes such as love, political and social concerns, religion and personal morals, amen, etc. He was a leading literary influencer in the 20th century. His most famous poems stop all the clocks. His important works are Funeral Blues, The Unknown Citizen, The Age of Anxiety, September of One, The Shield of Achilles, For the Time Being, Another Time, and many more. He died at the age of 66 in 1973, 29. September. Samuel Beckett was an Irish novelist, playwright, short story writer, theatre director, poet and literary translator. He wrote in both French and English language. During the Second World War, Beckett was a member of the French resistance group. Beckett studied French, Italian and English language from 1923 to 27. He was elected a scholar in modern language in 1926. His pen name Andrew Vellis. His important works are Waiting for Goddard, Endgame, Play, Crap's Last Tape, Molloy, Morphe, The Unnameable, Happy Days, Breath, Not One, What, How It Is, Proust, and many more. In 1969, he won Nobel Prize in Literature. He died at the age of 83 in 1989, 22nd December. Virginia Woolf was an English writer and one of the most important modernist 20th century author pioneer in the use of stream of consciousness. She was an important part of London's literary and artistic society. In 1915, she had published her first novel, The Voyage Out. Her other important works are The Common Reader, To the Lighthouse, Orlando, Mrs. Dalloway, The Waves, Jacob's Room, The Years, The Voyage Out, A Writer's Diary, Night and Day, and many more. But she dislikes the quality of masculinity says that women stimulate her imagination by their grace and their act of life. Virginia Woolf died at the age of 59 in 1941, 17th June. W.B. Yeats William Butler Yeats was an Irish poet, dramatist, writer and one of the foremost figures of the 20th century. He was a symbolist and realistic poet. His poems had a lyrical romantic style. He studied poetry from an early age. In 1923, he won the Nobel Prize in Literature. His important works are The Second Coming, Sailing the Byzantium, A Prayer for My Daughter, Esther 1916, A Vision, An Irish Yearman, and many more. Eats died at the age of 73 in 1939 to 28th January. Isra Weston Loomis Pound was an American poet and critic, dramatist, editor, and publisher. Ezra Pound was influenced by T.S. Eliot, W.B. Yeats, Walt Whiteman, and from so many great writers. His most famous poem, In a Station of the Metro. His famous works are The Cantos, In a Station of the Metro, Persian Cantos, Make It New, ABC of Reading, Poems, Des Imagists, The Spirit of Romans, and many more. Ezra Pound wrote primarily in the Imagist style. Ezra Pound died at the age of 87 in 1972, 1st November. E. M. Froster, Edward Morgan Froster, was an English fiction writer, essayist, and librettist, and his narrative style is straightforward. Many of his novels examine class differences and hypocrisy. He was awarded Queen Elizabeth's Order of Merit in 1969. His other important works are A Passage to India, A Room with a View, Howard's End, Maurice, the Machine Stops, Where Angels Fear to Trade, Aspects of the Novel, The Longest Journey, The Celestial Omnibus, and many more. Yem Froster died at the age of 91 in 1970, 7th June. Dorothy Richardson is a British author and journalist. 
She was a feminist writer and was one of the earliest modernist novelists who used stream of consciousness as a narrative technique. Her important works are Crimage, Pointed Roofs, The Tunnel, Clear Horizon, Dawn's Left Hand, Revolving Lights, Dimple Hill, and so many. Dorothy Richardson died at the age of 84 in 1957, 17th June. Joseph Conrad was a British writer and regarded as one of the greatest novelists to write in English language. He did not speak English fluently until his 20, and he came to be regarded a master prose stylist who brought a non-English sensibility into English language. His important works are Heart of Darkness, Lord Jim, The Secret Agent, Nostromo, The Shadow Line, The Secret Sharer, Typhoon, and many more. He died at the age of 66 in 1924, 3rd August. So that's all about today. I hope this video helped a little bit. And if you want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.